that saw um, me on seven days on the cover, I hope you were as offended as I was with the Bluetooth in my ear. So if you, if you saw the cartoon, you know, it's one thing to put me on a horse and put a hat on me, but the Bluetooth in my ear actually offended me <laughs> as someone who would never do that. So uh, um, I hope you were as outraged as I was. Um, my name is Brad Robertson. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm the publisher of the Burlington Free Press. Um, I grew up in a newspaper family. Uh, my dad was in the newspaper industry for uh, 38 years. Um, from the age of six years old, I was going out throwing paper routes. On um, the weekends, he'd throw me in the car, I'd sit in the back of the car and I'd put together newspapers, um, and I'd help him fold them and he would deliver them. Uh, at the age of 10, I actually was out throwing a paper route. In this day and age, it's sort of how the world has changed, but at 10 years old, I would wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'd go down and get my papers, I'd put them together, I'd literally put them in, the, in this bag on the, on the couch, and then being just 10 years old, I'd literally scoop myself under the bag and almost the weight would almost pull me down. And off I would go into the dark to go deliver about 45 papers. Um, grew the route to about 70 some odd papers over that time. I really from there went to college. Uh, but during high school and college, I also worked at the newspaper, worked in the print shop, uh, worked in telemarketing, used to take youth crews out. I'd take uh, 10 to 12, 13 to 15 year olds in a van, not down by the river, but in a van. And uh, I'd, uh, I'd take them out for uh, fast food and then we'd go terrorize neighborhoods and uh, sell newspaper subscriptions door to door. Um, never had anybody, I never lost anybody, and never had anyone arrested, so I'm very proud of that fact. Um, from there, I uh, went to school, I was going to be an accountant, because I liked money, and I thought if you like money, why not count it all day? Um, but that didn't work out very well for me, and realized that my passion was communications. Um, and I ended up um, uh, getting hired by the Gannett Company, which owns Burlington Free Press, um, which owns many newspapers, also owns USA Today, um, owns... Um, Career Builder owns Cars.com, owns Apartments.com, um, owns a company called Point Roll, yada yada. Uh, but anyway, I've worked for them for 15 years. I've worked at seven newspapers. Um, I've worked at the Rock Register Star in Illinois. I worked at the Wilmington News Journal, Wilmington, Delaware. Worked at the Fort Collins, Colorado, in Fort Collins, uh, Colorado. Worked at the Springfield News Leader in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, worked at the Detroit News and Free Press, which was a joint operating agreement at the time I was there. Uh, which in Detroit, what that means is there's two companies that own part of the newspaper. So there's two editorial sides in the town, right? So there's the Detroit News, which at the time I was there was owned by Gannett, um, and uh, the Detroit Free Press, which is owned by Knight Ritter. Then there's a business unit that helps do the rest. So there's two editorial independent voices, and then a business unit that sells the ads, distributes it, does the finance. Um, from there, I went to the Des Moines Register um, uh, in Des Moines, Iowa, and then most recently came here. So I have dragged my wife all over the United States. <laughs> Um, every time we move, I have to buy her a better gift. Uh, it's pretty much the way it works. So when I went to Iowa, I had to buy her a purebred bearded collie. Uh, that was my punishment for bringing her to Iowa. And uh, here, uh, she has not decided what the gift is yet, because actually she absolutely adores it here. So I think I've made out really well moving to Burlington. As far as how I got here and the way it works, just a little bit of business world. Um, my phone rang on a Thursday morning around 8 a.m., a woman named Sue Clark Jackson, who was the president of the newspaper division for Gannett, uh, called me up at 8 a.m. and said, Brad, would you like to be the publisher of the Burlington Free Press? That's pretty much how it happened. So 8 a.m. on a Thursday, and she said, I'd like to know by Monday. So um, I went home that night, and my wife kind of knows the tone of my voice when it's time to move, or when it's time to <laughs> consider moving. And she was over washing dishes. I said, hey, Marianne, um, I got a call today. And uh, she's like, oh, really? And where are you taking me now? And I was like, Vermont. <laughs> Which, you know, to be honest, at the time, I only knew of Vermont in two ways, right? The first way I knew of Vermont was I used to go to Las Vegas um, every year for the first two rounds of the NCAA basketball tournament. And I had a lot of money on Syracuse to beat this team oh. called Vermont, right? <laughs> UVM. And these guys with these big, bushy hair kicked my ass. And, and I lost a lot of money in Vegas. So that's the first time I knew of Vermont. The second time I knew of Vermont was when I was in Iowa, and the governor of Vermont showed up and was running for president, right? And, and arrived, Mr. Governor Howard Dean arrived as the, as the number one choice, and when he left Iowa, he was the third choice. And of course, as you know, his famous thing that happened, which I think is an interesting study and viral video, you know, YouTube was put on the map by uh, the Narnia uh, short film from SNL, right? That was the moment that YouTube became what it was. YouTube was nowhere until the Narnia uh, short film. But really, if you consider Howard Dean, right, and he's doing his scream, right, and we're going to go to New Hampshire, da 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 woo, right? You, 
You guys all know what I'm talking about? If you don't, YouTube that, all right? <laughs> but, but what's funny about that is if you watch um, Senator Harkin, who was a senator from Iowa, you can see him on the stage literally like looking at Howard Dean, like, oh my God, like this isn't going so well, right? I mean, you have to watch it. So anyway, I, I felt bad, but it really was played over and over. David Letterman picked it up. Um, uh, Leno picked it up. I mean, it became a viral thing that really for, for, for Governor Dean was a hard thing for him to overcome. So that was interesting. So those are my two ways that I knew about Vermont. Uh, I talked to my wife. I said, look, I've looked up everything. Looks like a fabulous place to live. Looks like a great place to raise our kids. Looks like an amazing place that you can go skiing. You can do all these things. And um, from there, I called a friend of mine, Jennifer Carroll, who's the former executive editor of the Burlington Free Press, and asked her, what, would it, what was it like living here? And she said it was the best place she'd ever lived. Um, that was good for me. So I called